is Team USA men's basketball, their quest to win the gold medal. I think this would be the fifth straight. And uh, Kevin Durant, who was phenomenal in the last game, Sunday against Serbia, dropped 21 of his 23 points in the first half. And he just added to his total, Rob, which continues to grow as he's the all-time leading scorer in Olympic history. And I believe has three gold medals, Rob G, correct me if I'm wrong. Three gold medals, so he's going for his fourth. And um, they play tomorrow night against South Sudan. Now, remember, they only beat South Sudan by a point. They were favored by more than 40 in an exhibition game. But Durant wasn't there. Now they're favored by about 29, I think it is right now. And so uh, I, I, I will say this, Rob, if we don't, beat South Sudan handily. If it is a close game again, six points, five points, four points, whatever, then we got something to worry about. I I will give it to us that we took them lightly going into that exhibition game, and they shocked us with their quickness, athleticism, and shooting ability, and we we were fortunate to win. LeBron hit a buzzer beating layup or not buzzer beating but last second layup to win and um this game if we we they will not sneak up on us we are not taking them lightly it counts it's not an exhibition game if it's a struggle then you know don't don't uh don't clear the space on your mantle for the gold medal just yet uh, but I, I think we'll handle them pretty easily. But anyway, said all that to say, Coach K was talking, uh, I think it was today, and uh, he said this, Rob, about Kevin Durant. Well, I think he is because of longevity and accomplishment. It's unique, but the amount of points he scored, he's he scored a lot more than, than anyone else. And uh, Jim, and when he did that, you know, when he scored – in Istanbul uh, in 2010, he averaged 33 points a game in the medal round. Obviously, in, in London, he was part of the uh, a huge team that we had with LeBron and Kobe. And in 2016 in Rio, he was by far our best scorer and really led our team to the gold medal. All right, so he was asked, is Kevin Durant the greatest uh, uh, men's basketball player in Olympic history? And so he said yes because of his longevity. Uh, what, what are your What are your thoughts on that, Rob? Coach and, K. And quickly, let me throw. I'm sorry. Quickly, Kevin Durant's career average in the Olympics, Rob, nineteen point seven. I guess we could say twenty points now. He dropped to twenty three. Michael Jordan second at sixteen. Charles Barkley third at fifteen point four. Coach K, I hate to rain on your parade, but that. Plus two dollars and ninety cents will get you on the subway in New York. I'm sorry. <laughs> really, Coach K? Oh my God. Kevin Durant is the greatest uh USA basketball player ever. He averaged twenty points against nobody. Against mostly <laughs> nobodies. Has been, never was his. It doesn't rate Chris. The Olympics, basketball, they've been just said they've been going for their fifth gold medal in a row or whatever it is. It doesn't rate. Nobody cares about it from the standpoint. It doesn't make you better in the eyes of the basketball world. It's still about the NBA. Carmelo Anthony had four medals, right? Three and he goals. He was the leading scorer right. until uh, KD, yeah. And Chris, three goals and a bronze. And right. that didn't that didn't help him get a job in the NBA for two seasons or a year and a half. It Fair. didn't move the needle. Nobody Fair. was like, "Oh my God, he's like unbelievable in international play." How in the world don't we have uh, uh, Carmelo Anthony on the roster? No, and it's it's fine. You go there, you do your thing, Chris. But it doesn't give you any juice. I'm I'm sorry. The the international play. The team that they've beaten, that's why nobody makes a big deal about Michael Jordan and Charles Barkley. They're beating teams by 45 points right. with that dream team. Chris, that's not competition. If you told me and you painted a scenario 
that Canada was our equal. I'm just giving you a team, Chris. Right. Canada was our equal. And Kevin Durant showed up and bust the chops of Canada, and you could name some of the great Canadian players and was like, my God, did you see what KD did against a, B, and C, and and how they uh, the won the, the gold medal, that was incredible. It just doesn't rate. People don't have that kind of memories about it. And I'm not taking anything away from he's out there to play. He's doing what he does. He's one of the best scorers we've ever seen. I, hands down. All Rob. I'm saying is it just doesn't, it doesn't move the needle to make people think any more of Kevin Durant other than what he's done in the NBA. That's my biggest point. I agree. I agree. Rob G and I were talking earlier, and the question was, does Kevin Durant being – I'm fine. If you want to – I mean, the way Coach K said it, Rob, was very innocuous because of his longevity. Right. That's what he sure. put first. If you play the right. longest, of course you're going to have right. more. He ain't better than Michael Jordan. I'm Thank sorry. You. In the Olympics. Jordan led it in, in college. So now, Rob, if you want to say – if people want to compare now, and say, well, hey, the international game, they the players are way better. You can't compare it to 92 and 96 when we were destroying teams. That's fair. But Michael Jordan played in college. He was a college kid or right out of college, but still college aged after his junior year, playing against grown men. So it was equivalent. I mean, and I'm not here to argue. I don't care. To your point, I don't care that Michael Jordan's the greatest, you know, Olympic basketball right. player ever, or Charles Barkley, or LeBron, or Durant, whoever. Who cares? You know when we care, Rob? When we lose. That's the only time that you— That's I, when we care. That's when there's a story, Chris. I always say, <laughs> right. wake me up when they lose, and then yep. we got a story and a conversation to have. Right. But we and, expect them to win. We expect and, Kevin Durant to score points against these right, other players. of course. I think I could go out there and get four points. I mean, really, I mean seriously, though, with that squad. Hey, you know I scored uh, so 10 easy. against Nancy Lieberman, so I'm just saying. <laughs> no, I'm joking about me. No, but I know I, that. But, Rob, and here's what I'm, my point. We only care if they lose. Because in 2008, people might object and say, well, hold on. We care about the Redeem team with LeBron and Kobe and Chris Paul and D. Wade. and all. You know why we care? Because we had lost four years earlier. We had to redeem ourselves. So we care about them. But the reason we care about them is because they lost the four years before. We care about 92 because we had lost in 88 with the college kids. And it was time to send the big boys over. And so, and Rob, come on. I mean, and again, this is taking nothing from KD because he is a phenomenal player and has been phenomenal in the Olympics. But, Rob, when you've got a team full of absolute superstars, and they don't know who to put. They can't put the defensive attention on anybody because Kobe's out there or LeBron's out right. there. Right, who do you not guard? Right. Right. I'm sorry, but it ain't that. For these guys at their level, this, Rob, this, I bet you, the Olympic Games for Kevin Durant are the easiest adult basketball he's ever played. The easiest adult basketball he's ever played. And that's not to belittle the competition. It's just to say, look at his teammates. Look at his teammates. And this is a great catch and shoot guy. This is a great jump shooter. I mean, my goodness. All he got to do is hit his jumpers against one man or wide open. So I'm with you. This does nothing to move him up. I, I don't know Rob, where he is exactly. I, I got Kevin Durant in the 20th range. I don't know, somewhere between 18, 17, 16, and 22 maybe. I, I don't know exactly. But I don't think, I don't care if he averages 23 in these Olympics and we win gold. It's not going to move him up one spot in my rankings. I'm with you. It just doesn't, it doesn't rate.
It, it just doesn't. The only time this is a story, Chris, is when it goes sideways. Yep. If they do what we expect them to do in these, it just doesn't move anybody. Yeah, okay, you're supposed to win. Right. Kevin Durant against those guys, against who? You can't even name who he went against most of the time. You don't know no. who these guys are. They don't play at his level. It's it's a it's a step down. He's playing CYO, and the only difference is, Chris, that they speak another language. 